Mistakes happen all the time in wrestling, but these botches and bloopers are so bad that they accidentally prove that wrestling is fake. Like this embarrassing moment from AEW. During one of the first episodes of AEW Dynamite, the group Dark Order stormed the ring and started laying out everyone inside it. However, instead of hitting their enemies, the Dark Order was more occupied with smacking the air around them. I think those masks might have been on a little tight, although I can't be too hard on the Dark Order. Even the greats missed their target. The long holds came off in a right hand and left APL. Speaking of The Undertaker, I think we witnessed a glitch in the Matrix here. We all know that wrestling referees are pretty weak, but this is ridiculous. At TNA's Sacrifice pay-per-view in 2014, Bully Ray and Bobby Roode fought in a tables match. The match was supposed to end with the referee getting knocked down, causing Bobby Roode to win with some help from TNA president Dixie Carter. That is what happened, but it was a very rough road to get there. Watch this and you'll see what I mean. The move, move, the move, keep countering. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you can't even pretend like the referee got hit. Root's boot was nowhere near him. Making matters even worse was that the referee was down for nearly five minutes. Natalia is a master of technical wrestling. However, she seems to have trouble getting the tag. At Money in the Bank in 2016, Natalia teamed with Becky Lynch to take on Charlotte Flair and Dana Brooke. At one point, both Charlotte and Brooke were on the outside, and Natalia was trying to make the tag. However, Flair was a bit too slow with breaking up the tag, causing Natalia to oddly shake around while she waited. Ironically, this exact same thing happened a few years later, except the roles were flipped and it somehow got worse. In late 2019, Charlotte Flair and Natalya had made up and were now teaming against Kyrie Sane and Asuka. Charlotte was the legal woman and was desperate to tag out. However, Kyrie Sane was late to break up the tag, which forced Natalya to actually pull away from Charlotte to prevent herself from getting tagged in. This is taking suspension of disbelief to a whole other level. It isn't just the talent that makes mistakes though. In 2000, ECW is broadcasting its Anarchy Rules pay-per-view. Part of the show saw commentator Joey Styles get into a fight with Louie Dangerously. The production was supposed to cut straight to a promo with ECW world champion Just Incredible. However, fans were shown a view inside ECW's production truck. <laughs> The real question is, why did ECW put a camera in there? Jeff Hardy is without question one of the best and most exciting wrestlers to watch, but his matches aren't always flawless. In 2013, the charismatic Enigma got a shot at the TNA World Championship. The champ was Bully Ray, and the two fought in a Full Metal Mayhem match, basically a TLC match. Considering the history these two had, you knew this match was going to be phenomenal, and it was, but there were some technical difficulties. Like when Bully Ray broke the table just by sitting on it. Is this the opening? Props to Jeff Hardy though, he got a second table and then hit a twist of fate. However, the move was so powerful that Bully Ray actually set himself down on the table. That's amazing. Some of these botches are painful to watch and some are funny. This one though is downright hilarious. In late 2022, Top Dollar and Ashante Theodonis competed in a triple threat tag team match that also involved Legato Del Fantasma and the Viking Raiders. Even though he weighed over 300 pounds, Top Dollar decided to get a little crazy and go high risk. His name might be top, but he barely cleared the top rope, and yet Dalla's opponents still went down like bowling pins. I guess there's a reason he doesn't do that often. To be fair, this wasn't nearly as bad as what happened during a Ring of Honor show. In December 2023, Ring of Honor hosted their final pay-per-view of the year, Final Battle. One of the matches pit Luchador's Black Taurus and El Hijo del Vikingo against each other. The two were having an exciting, high-energy match, but that all came to a screeching halt when this happened. This is the Vikingo we know! Crowd on their feet! Woo! Oh, didn't like his footing. Goes for it again! Oh, the fake out! Credit to Valkingo for catching himself and not executing a move that could have hurt himself or his opponent, but this is tough to watch. There was no reason for Black Taurus to stand and wait, and it shared the illusion that these two were really fighting. Now this one was pretty funny. On WCW Nitro, Billy Kidman, Rey Mysterio, and Eddie Guerrero were spying on Lex Luger and Miss Elizabeth. It I bet you didn't know that John Cena once made an appearance in TNA. In April 2018, Scott Steiner and Ali Knight, known as Eli Drake at the time, were defending their tag team championship against Latin American Exchange 
exchange, Ortiz and Santana. The challengers tried to hit a double team move on Knight, but Ellie countered it and won by pinning Santana. Ortiz tried to break it up, but thankfully, John Cena was there to pull Ortiz and prevent him from interfering. Even though Scott Steiner didn't make the save, he and LA Knight made up for it by dancing. Feeling the pressure in this match here against Scott Steiner. Where's he going? Couple different reversals there. Oh! Dean Malenko and Ultimo Dragon are two of the best technical wrestlers, but you wouldn't know that from this clip. On a February 1997 episode of Monday Night Nitro, Malenko and Dragon were facing off in a singles match. During the contest, Dean Malenko found himself on the edge of the ring, so Ultimo Dragon attempted to kick him. Despite Ultimo's feet not connecting, Dean still acted like it did. Again, trust me, these are two of the greatest anime wrestlers of all time, but even the greats have their nights off. Now in saying that, what the heck happened here? And a whisper in the wind, nobody home! Since most wrestling shows are broadcast live, wrestlers usually only have one take to get it right, but that's not always the case. AEW Rampage is typically filmed on Wednesdays after the live broadcast of AEW's flagship show Dynamite and then aired on Friday. This allows wrestlers to get a second take if they mess up, which is what happened in January 2023. Max Caster was on the show and he started rapping like he always would, but... Of course, fans watching on TV didn't see this, but it did ruin the suspension of disbelief among fans in attendance. Here's something you probably didn't know. Stone Cold Steve Austin and Sting have fought each other one on one. However, since I'm sharing it in this video, you know something pretty bad happened. On WCW Saturday night in 1995, the two icons went one on one. They were having a solid match, but at one point, Sting caught Austin and tried to catapult Steve into the turnbuckles. For whatever reason though, Stone Cold paused for a second before following through with the move. There was only a slight delay, but after the botch happened, it was difficult to believe that this was a real fight. Not only did this next moment prove that wrestling is scripted, but it's also extremely cringy. History was made at the 2017 Money in the Bank, as it was the first time WWE had a Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. History was made again when James Ellsworth became the first man to win the Women's Money in the Bank match. Well, Ellsworth actually dropped the briefcase and Carmella won. Still, there was controversy and it was addressed two days later on SmackDown. Everyone involved in the ladder match went into the ring and an argument broke down, which included Charlotte Flair saying this. I am here for a decision. And if you don't shut up, I'm gonna make you look like Ellsworth. There was nothing wrong with this line, except for what Tamina said immediately afterward. Charlotte, Charlotte, you need to be quiet or you're gonna start looking like Ellsworth. It's unclear what exactly happened, but it appears Tamina or Charlotte accidentally got their lines mixed up. In 2009, John Cena started a feud at the Big Show that ultimately led to a submission match at Extreme Rules. Cena, of course, had the STF, but Big Show always managed to fight out of it. The leader of the C Nation then got creative. Remembering that there were no rope breaks, John Cena trapped Big Show's left boot between the ropes. However, Big Show's foot popped out of the rope, but despite that, he still held it up. The camera crew reacted quickly and hit it, but unfortunately, the illusion was ruined. Later that night, Jeff Hardy also tried a creative method to win his match, but Jeff's actually worked. To see what Hardy did, watch this video. 